Hello everyone, this is Jiwon and today I'm going to talk about CLEN object detection and its various methods along with each major task. So CLEN object detection is trying to precisely detect and segment a certain image region. This method is based on how human perceives and detects an important object from a scene. The salient object detection process works as follows. It firstly detects the salient image region, and after that, it segments the selected or detected region. Application of salient object detection includes video summarization, video compression, image editing, motion tracking, object discovery, and so on. There are some traditional and related methods, such as fixation and image segmentation. Here, fixation predicts scene locations where a human focuses on. In image segmentation, it divides an image into regions of coherent properties. Those methods work well with a simple scene with a single object or with a clean background. In case of salient object detection, it segments the salient foreground object from the background. There are some approaches which integrate salient object detection with a fully connected neural networks. They tend to have a better performance on tackling such major challenges. So here comes the classification of salient object detection. So there are two big categories here, conventional and deep learning approaches. The conventional or traditional models use basic properties of the image like contrast and diffusion in the image. You can also have a mathematical model involved in it like Bayesian likelihood and something else. The deep learning models have learning algorithms involved in it. Uh, this approach has an automated process for the feature extraction. Researchers usually feed the given image data set and train the model with it and extract features with it. As other typical machine learning models do have, uh, the salient object detection with deep learning models also have supervised, unsupervised, and semi-supervised methods. So there are a couple of tasks that researchers have been trying to tackle. Those are low contrast objects, detecting multiple salient objects, and detecting objects from cluttered images. First of all, low contrast object is difficult to tackle and researchers have proposed object detection with neural nets. In such low lighting scenario, it is difficult to detect due to the lack of well-defined features to represent saliency information in low contrast images. So Mu et al. proposed a method with a convolutional neural nets. They extract low-level features and compute mutual covariance with it. The saliency map will be generated by estimating saliency score of each region through pre-trained CNN model. And the CNN model gets trained by seven layer convolutional neural nets. And another method proposed by Go et al. It is a method with a convolutional neural nets as well. The thing here is that it added contrast enhancing unlike the method of Mu et al. It has a local contrast enhancing, which allows robust information of robust representation of saliency information. It also has a non-local feature learning, and this will be combined with local features via deep learning model later on. They use the CNN model to enhance the low contrast image into the high contrast one. So here we can see that simple traditional features like texture and contrast stuff are not really enough to estimate saliency in low contrast objects. Another challenge is detecting multiple salient objects. Multiple objects are difficult to be detected because the traditional approaches are designed to detect simple and basic ones, as I said earlier. So the first method here, Jia et al. proposed adaptive location, which makes the system will not always think that the object is located in the center. Their method detects the salient points by the adjustive color Harris algorithm. 
and their affinity propagation automatically clusters the salient points and they finally filtered it and used a filtering method to result a saliency map. O et al, on the other hand, proposed a multi-level foreground segmentation. They get the saliency through parametric and non-parametric cluster. Those clusters, they're just like, the difference is just whether it has a prior knowledge or not. Their methods work as this way. They reconstruct the color map and enhance the image uh, estimate foreground and then uniformly highlight estimated region to include multiple objects. Then they perform segmentation with clusters. Although their approaches are quite different, both methods try to resolve the current existing problem of traditional salient object detection methods. Another challenge is detecting objects from cluttered image especially when you adapt machine learning approaches into salient object detection, it may cause a data set bias if you only have a simple and clean, clean image. So Fan et al. proposed a new data set with various conditions of images and tested various approaches on their data set. So Liu et al. proposed a deep hierarchical saliency network based on convolutional neural network for salient object detection. The proposed method goes from global to local, from rough or big picture to the specific one. Firstly, their model learns global structures like contrast, objectness, compactness, and then predicts. After that hierarchical recurrent CNN um, will be used to hierarchically and progressively refine the details of saliency maps by integrating with local context information. Lee et al. proposed multi-task deep saliency model based on a fully connected neural network. This model takes the whole raw image as an input and outputs a saliency map of the whole image. Their method firstly encode the prior information of saliency objects. And then they perform multitask learning for saliency detection and object segmentation. The thing here is that both proposed methods resulted a relatively high detection rate on fans salient object in clutter data set. Both methods used neural networks to train the appearance of objects on cluttered images. So here are the main takeaways. Traditional salient object detection might not work well for the convoluted images or images that are not simple nor clean. So as you can see, um, the methods that I have introduced today is mainly based on learning algorithms like neural nets. The intention of learning each different object will help out the salient image detection and segmentation. For the future work, researchers need to make the processor and the runtime more efficient. I mean, since as you know, learning algorithms are time consuming. Also the improvements on detection rates as well as higher resolution of saliency maps are required. Sometimes they do detect objects, but the edges are blurry, like the edges in the, the saliency map they're kind of blurry, so we need to make it accurate and sharp. We can also use some other like data sets that have a lot of different images to train the network. Lastly, these are the references that I have referred to throughout this presentation today. Uh, thanks for listening, and you can always request for the full text of my survey paper and this presentation slides. Thank you. <laughs>